guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's vlog, as you can probably tell already by the title, I'm going to be bringing you my most essential pregnancy products. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this pretty short and sweet and I definitely wanted to wait until more the end of the third trimester to bring you this video. So yeah, I am definitely try to not buy every single product out there tend to be pretty minimalistic when it comes to products. Um, so basically everything that I'm talking about here in this video are not only affordable products, but I feel like kind of the basic needs, if that makes sense. All right, so let's just jump into it. And of course I will make sure to link everything down below. So starting off with, I would say my most used product, that would be my bio skincare oil. So in my second trimester, we went to Hawaii and I actually got a sunburn on my belly and I was just so terrified because I've heard that that makes it easier to have or to get stretch marks later. So I was already doing the bio oil once a day, once every other day. Um, as soon as I start my second trimester. But after returning from Hawaii and having that sunburn, I was applying this to my belly probably three times a day. And I did that for a good month. And that was, I believe, the six month mark. So I always knew that using a belly oil was a good idea. I asked my doctor, she says that 75 to 80% is just genetics. And if you're gonna get stretch marks, you're going to get them. But if you can really hydrate the skin and basically ease the stretch of the skin, obviously that is helpful. So in my case, I am now 38 weeks and I don't have one single stretch mark yet. I have heard that you can still get them after pregnancy, which kind of doesn't make any sense because your skin is like kind of going back <laughs> to its original size rather than um, continuing to stretch. But regardless, um, I think this was really helpful. All right, next thing. Definitely went through maybe two, three bottles of these um, in the last three months. And then my doctor actually recommended that if it was that bad, that I could take Pepsid, which I thought was like a prescription or something. But anyway, you can take one to two a day and it's a little more hardcore strength than the tons. So this has been super, super helpful. And especially at nighttime, I realized that the nights I wasn't sleeping well, it was due to indigestion. So um, that has definitely been <laughs> probably number one on my list of things that have helped with pregnancy. Okay, the next one is affordable but comfortable clothing. Um, in my first trimester, I was kept thinking like, I wonder what my pregnancy style is going to be. I wonder what I'm going to feel the most comfortable in. And honestly, I probably bought maybe four or five kind of cotton dresses that are not maternity. Um, and, and honestly, I just wanted something inexpensive that I could basically get rid of and not feel guilty about once I had the baby. So I have this one in this kind of camel nude color. I have it in green, I have it in white, and then I have this, this is long sleeve um, turtleneck, and I have this one in black and white. So very basic colors, um, but I figured that way I can just kind of, I'm wearing um, today's dress with a black linen shirt over it. Um, the linen is really nice because it's like super breathable and this is something I already owned before um, I was pregnant and so it's just something that really easy to kind of put together because I got them all in like such neutral colors um, and then you can throw on a jacket over it if it's cold um, or like I said a linen shirt if it's kind of warmer out um, but basically the weather in California it allows for that and considering that we're now deep in fall and I can still wear a dress and be super comfortable. I've also have run super hot. <laughs> I was telling Adam the other day, I don't think I've been cold once in this pregnancy. So, um, so that's just been really helpful. And technically, like, I feel like the condition of this dress is still fine to wear if I want to wear it um, after pregnancy. I absolutely can. Um, I got most 
things in a size small and a medium. This is the medium, so this is the probably largest one I have and still fits super, super comfortably. Um, and at the end of the day, I think it's, it's a cute outfit that, again, not expensive. Um, and I won't feel guilty if I can't wear this after because it was so inexpensive. Another thing that I want to <laughs> um, include is this is actually like a maternity short thing. It's probably like the only maternity thing I own. Um, but they're basically biker shorts, um, but with the belly. Um, and I feel like not only are they supportive, but I didn't realize how often I would reach for these. Um, so literally when I'm just either filming or, you know, doing virtual consults, throwing this on with any t-shirt that I've, <laughs> that I already owned that still fits. Just a very easy way to put on an outfit and su super, super comfortable. And of course with working from home and doing everything like via video, I can just wear some biker shorts, <laughs> my lower half. All right, next thing are these leg compression socks. Um, in my second trimester, I started having um, like a lot of pressure in my legs and I know that your whole like circulation is um, completely different in pregnancy. This way you're always sort of like out of breath, but you're basically pumping 40% more blood than you were before. Um, but that blood is actually kind of diluted. So you don't feel more like energized and better. It's just like your body is just more tired doing that. Um, and and the blood kind of likes to sit at your legs or like your extremities. So these were a huge help. Like on days that like, sometimes just halfway through the day, my legs just felt so exhausted and just like so much pressure. So yeah, and then because they were a cuter color, I was more in tune to, to wearing them. So good find. Next item is this huge, huge pregnancy pillow. And I had seen these everywhere, and honestly, when I saw it, I was like, that's so big, I absolutely don't need that. And then end of second trimester comes around, and you're so uncomfortable, you're like, I'll try anything. So I did get it, and I do love it, but not, not for sleeping. Just me personally, like I said, I run really warm lately, so I feel like that is just like, a massive body heated blanket. I think I feel like a little bit like too wrapped up in it for sleeping, but when I'm just so uncomfortable, my back hurts, I'm able to kind of make a donut and like um, face down on it and like read for half an hour. It just like really takes the pressure off my lower back. And also like sitting in bed with it where your legs are kind of over it and your butt is basically in the center of the donut part. Gives you like a ton of lumbar support and I mean it's just incredibly comfortable. Also having that like cushion on the sides for your elbows. Um, it's weird you never think of like I need support for my elbows when I'm reading but like anything that you can do to kind of ease any pressure on your back is ideal and I feel like that's what that pillow does. So if you live somewhere where it's colder climate or you're not as warm as I technically have been feeling, um, I feel like you would absolutely love that. And um, they have crazy range of prices. Like it can be over a hundred bucks. I think the one I got was like 35. Um, and it also has like a zipper kind of cover so you can remove that and wash it and stuff. And the last set of products, this Mamma Mio Tummy Rub Butter. Similar to the oil, the oil I like to do at night after I've showered and I've like gone to bed. Um, but normally during the day if I'm wearing something, especially that's not like black, I don't like to use the oil just because I'm afraid of like staining my clothes. It's just a good way to really keep your belly skin really hydrated, um, but not as oily as, or intense as of course the actual oil. And then this is a little bit extra, but I found it to be really soothing and really nice. And it's just the uh, Lucky Legs Refreshing Spritz. So again, like I said, when my legs were just feeling like really, um, like a lot of pressure and just not feeling well, um, spritzing this on, it's kind of like one of those like face mists that like you instantly just feel refreshed and cooled off. Um, basically it's that, but for your legs. And it's just like one of those things you probably wouldn't think of, but really nice to have once you do have it. 
All right guys, and that is it. And this is the last footage I think you'll see regarding pregnancy and me still being pregnant. So yeah, I figured this was appropriate for this time. For all you ladies watching that are pregnant yourselves, I wish you a smooth and comfortable pregnancy and of course an amazing birth and healthy baby and healthy mama. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.